What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Uh, some, some, got to take care of some business here. Tonight, 6.30, 6.30 Eastern, one of my kids, one of my badass kids, wants to talk about the draft okay so that's would be philly 500 so we're going to do a, a live stream at six to seven uh, six thirty to seven thirty and get ready for the draft and i'm actually out and about trying to get everything i need together for the draft because we're going to have a draft party and what worked well last year i don't know if y'all remember but we ended up having that tomahawk steak you know big piece of meat and we ended up getting Micah Parsons. So you know me, I'm superstitious. So I'm, I'm looking for a big piece of meat to have for tomorrow night as well. What I'm actually thinking about doing something a little bit different. That working instead of having a tomahawk steak, because they, they, they ain't cheap. And getting a big piece of one, you know, you basically have to get rid of your first male born. I think I'm going to get a prime rib roast because then with whatever's left over, we can have prime rib sandwiches the next day. So just trying to think ahead and figure if I get a bigger piece of meat, maybe we'll get that big offensive lineman or better yet, Jordan Davis, you know, and put him on that defensive line. You know, look, I tell you what, Jordan Davis, if the Cowboys get you, I will feed you Joe Boo wings, Joe Boo pulled pork and prime rib galore. Now, what might actually help the Dallas Cowboys? Jerry Jones yesterday said, you know, by, by the time we get in the playoffs next year, and that's a big assumption that we're going to be in the playoffs, but in his mind, we're going to be in the playoffs next year, that we'll be about where we were last year with the talent. Well, I don't mean any harm, Jerry, but you used to talk about Super Bowls and not playoffs. So if your expectations come down some, that's my first thing. Second, to assume that we're going to be in the playoffs, well, that's not a safe assumption because it's kind of like an every other year thing. You win the division, somebody else wins it, and then we kind of miss the playoffs. It's just the way it's kind of been. So, you know, I think maybe you've forgotten some of these things. Third, the talent that we had last year wasn't enough to win a playoff game. Just pointing that out. But what might actually help the Dallas Cowboys is a rumor, okay? Now, there, we're hearing reports that there's nothing to this rumor that the Jets have offered the number 10 pick along with other compensation for Debo Samuels. This would actually be great news for the Dallas Cowboys since Debo was a one-man wrecking crew that ended up wrecking our season. And this would be good because we've had this migration of great NFC players that have been flowing to the AFC. I'd be happy to have Devo Samuels out of the NFC, just like I'm happy about Russell Wilson, as well as Devontae Adams, and of course, you know, um, Von Miller. I'm happy that all those guys are going to go fight it out, you know, knock each other silly, and so forth. This is actually a good thing for the Cowboys that you start looking at and saying, right now, you have the Rams who are the Super Bowl champions, and even though Jerry Jones basically says they don't know what they're doing. You've got them. They've kind of reloaded really well, but they don't have a draft pick to the third round, so this is the team that they have. They're going to be a year older, and hopefully they have that Super Bowl hangover. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping for the Super Bowl hangover, okay? If the 49ers, who will be going to their second-year quarterback, or Jimmy G coming off soldier surgery, losing... Debo Samuels, who not only is a great wide receiver, was a big part of their running a game, who got tired of running. That's actually another team that kind of has taken a step back. And then you have Tampa Bay, where who knows if Gronk is coming back. And if he does, Gronk has been kind of nicked up over the last few years. And at some point, Tom Brady is going to hit a wall. I I'm telling you, at some time, unless he sold his soul to the devil, which could, could very well be. He may have sold his soul to the devil. He's got to slow down. In one of these years, I'm going to be right about it. So as you look at this, and oh, of course, there's the Green Bay Packers. Now, they do have a lot of draft picks, 
but losing Devontae Adams, and there's still Aaron Rodgers who, you know, since that Super Bowl, has not been Mr. Playoffs. I know everybody says, you know, well, he's the MVP. Yeah, well, the MVP had the exact same number of touchdown passes as Dak Prescott, and he lost in the playoffs to the same team that the Cowboys lost to the week before, and we softened them up for him. Just say it. So we'll find out if there actually is anything to the trade rumors. Uh, the way I look at for Debo Samuels, and not that I think that he has a trade clause in there because when he was drafted, nobody thought he was going to be the player that he is, so he might not have gotten that in there. But if you're Debo, you probably don't want to go to the Jets. I, I, I just have a feeling that you would not be happy going to a team that is just not good, that has been literally the black hole of the NFL since Mark Sanchez was there. So I'm, I'm not sure that that's the kind of deal that works out. would work out well for the 49ers because that is the number 10 pick. And to be able to get a pick that high for a guy that you drafted in the second round after the Eagles drafted Charlie Dakota Whiteside. Ouch. I bet that still hurts. Um, you're actually, you know, doing good because you had a second round pick that you're going to have as a top 10 pick, that wouldn't be bad, as well as a few other players. So we'll find out if there's anything to it, and we'll see. In the meantime and in between time, you do your thing, and I'll do mine. And mine is getting ready for the draft party tomorrow. And don't forget, if you are a channel member, channel member, you can be part of the show because you'll be able to be in on the Zoom link. All right, that's it. Time for me to go shopping from A to Z. I go shopping A to Z. And Stacey, I know you're going to play. You're going to send me the link for that song. I know that, Stacey. All right, peace.